Some say Chinese is one of the most difficult languages in the world, and learning it is almost impossible. So learning Chinese, the most difficult thing. Very strong, very strong, very strong, very strong, very strong. So I'm sort of tone deaf. I can't really hear them. I think the cultural mindset is the biggest complication for the us. grammar. It's just complicated so much. Only because you're not learning it in the right way. Why not try Take Away Chinese, where you can take some Chinese away and experience progress day by day. Take away Chinese. We will promise you a difference. Welcome to Take Away Chinese. I'm Niu Honglin. Joining me today, the athletic, artsy, and someone who's major in psychology, Tony <laughs> Reed, in the studio. Woohoo! Hi, Tony. New, new. I get a woohoo today. Wow. Because your major <laughs> has a lot to do with today's theme, and I feel very lucky to be able to discuss this topic with someone who has a, you know, academic background. Well, it's always fun to talk about psychology, whether you have a, a degree or anything. It's just the study of the way people think, and I think that's interesting for everyone. Yeah.、Right? So psychology in Chinese to start with is called 心理学心理学 Yes. And here, 心理心 we know is heart,、mm -hmm. and 理 is 道理 So 道理 would kind of like the reasoning and the meaning and、okay. the so art the heart, heart meaning. The, yeah, and 学 is a subject. Okay. So 心理学 would be psychology. 心理学 So that's your major. 心理学对 And today we're actually talking about 心理测试测试测试 would be test. Something you would like if you can get a really high score, and you would not like if you do not know how. What are the correct answers? I don't need a high score. I just need to pass. Okay, that I'm, works I'm as well. I'm one of those students. <laughs> <laughs> that works as well. But 心理测试 or 心理测验 psychological tests.、Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of different kinds of tests out there. Some tests make a lot of sense. They say they can test your stress level, 压力值 So 压力 your stress. 压力 that's pressure, right? Pressure, yes. So your stress level. Some can say they can test your personality, 啊个性个性测验 personality. Okay.、Uh, some would test whether or not you're feeling a little bit down or depressed, even sometimes.、Mm -hmm. But there are some pretty, you know, strange ones. Some tests would tell you which ranked first in your life: love or money, or family, or career. Some would tell you how much money you would make if you live in Mars. Some well, would tell、like、you what kind of animal you were in your previous life. Like you know, fortune telling, <laughs> right? There are a little, <laughs> a lot of fun tests out there. So, from a professional point of view, what do you think of psychological tests or? All these kind of tests. Well, I think psychological tests are useful, <laughs> legitimate. <laughs> yeah, you know, for like, for example, for cognitive behavioral therapy, they have、um, certain tests that can assess how much stress you're under, as you mentioned earlier,、mm -hmm. and、um, also it's kind of good to know the personality type sometimes for certain employment. So, like, if you know what type of Individual would be, you know, the placement where they should be, where they should work, and where they would perform the best. So I think this is useful and helpful in that endeavor. But some of those other stuff, you know, what kind of animal you are, and, you, <laughs> you know, were in your previous life, what job you'd have in Mars, and this kind of thing. I think it's very useful. <laughs> But they're very fun. <laughs> if you're if you're willing to sit through it and get get it done, then oh, I, for those tests, for it's those only people, just、yeah. like one question. They no, know you would normally, not have the patience. Normally, those tests take like twenty minutes. Like you have to answer like fifty questions, and then it's like at the end you're like, okay, you're a rat. <laughs> oh, it's sad to be a rat. I can be a cat. <laughs> You know, lazy, <laughs> doing nothing kind of cat on Mars, making a lot of money yeah, by yeah. being cute. <laughs> okay, we are we are going a bit too far away, <laughs> but yes, today we're talking about 心理测试 psychological tests, or even all kinds of tests. Because recently here in China, or even around the world, there has been this one test that's been really popular, and we're gonna discuss that in the second part of today's show. Awesome. 
So for our dear listeners, if you're interested in Chinese culture and you want to get a grip on the Chinese language, then this is the show for you. Stick with us for 30 minutes, and you soon see the rewards. And for more fun Chinese learning, follow our Facebook page, Learn Chinese, to watch many fun videos and live streams. But now, let's provide you with some free Chinese for takeaway. 有没有做过先理测验？当然有啊。比如曾经风行一时的人格测验，我觉得测出的结果准确无误，对我的。描述简直丝毫不差碰上死耗子罢了。Yeah, this sounds like the conversation we had earlier. Oh, where yeah. You have this uh, intriguing interest <laughs> in taking one of these tests, and the other person's like, oh, I don't believe it. Yeah. It's like a shrink test related stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it could be fun, I think. And I also think the expressions in the conversation can be very useful. You think so? Oh, yeah. Mm provide you with a lot of idioms that you can use in your daily life. I see one that looks a little funny. You might have to explain it to me, though. I will. Okay, so for the first sentence, let's ease in. 你有没有做过心理测验? This is, have you done a psychological test before? Uh-huh. So this is 你有没有, so you have or not have. Uh-huh. 做过, so 做过 is have you done, right? Have you done. And then Li, this is psycho- psychology, right? Psychology or psychological. And then Yen, this is test. Test, Yen. Yen. We've talked about shi in our little chit-chat mm-hmm. uh, in the beginning. They basically mean the same thing. So okay. Yen or shi, you can use them interchangeably here. All right. Yen. Xin Li Yen psychological test. 当然有啊,比如曾经风行一时的人格测验。this is, of course, such as the personality test that was once really popular. Right? Uh-huh. So, 当然有, so this is of course, and then yo here's I have, right? Of course I have. And then 比如, 比如, 比如. This is, for example. For example, such as, 比如, 比 is kind of like compare. And Zhu is like, so it's saying, you know, for example. And then we have Cheng Jing. Cheng Jing. This is uh, once. Once. So in the past, Cheng Jing. When you say Cheng Jing, you basically are saying that it used to be, not anymore. So, what Cheng Jing Hen Shou. I used to be very skinny. Mm. And what you're not saying is, not anymore. <laughs> so, <laughs> 曾经, uh, 他曾经, Once upon a time. Once yeah. upon a time. 他曾经暗恋过校花. He used to be in love with the most beautiful girl in the campus. So, 校 is 学校, in the campus, in the school. And 花 is flower. So, the campus flower suggests the most beautiful girl in the campus. Hmm. 他曾经, he used to be in love with the most beautiful girl in the campus. So, 曾经, once upon a time. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then, 风行. 风行一时, actually, 风行. together. Feng Xing Yi Shi. Yes. This is um, very popular. Feng Xing Yi Shi used to be popular or popular for a period of time. <laughs> so Feng is wind. Xing, you can kind of understand it as move or blow away. Blowing wind. 
blowing wind. 一时 is one time, so a period of time. So 风行一时 you can understand it as the trend, the that blew everyone in this direction for a short period of time. Exactly, that one trend and happened once, and、um, yeah, it ended. So 风行一时 used to be very popular. Okay, popular for a period of time. 风行一时 the、mm-hmm. so of 人格。So Renge means personality. Personality. And then Ce Yan means test. Uh huh. So Feng Xing Yi Shi's Renge Ce Yan personality test that has been really popular. I think the test result is accurate and unbiased. It is unbiased. So this is. I think the result is very accurate, and the description of me is astonishingly. Precise. I think everybody says that whenever that result is positive. Oh yeah. They're just like, oh yeah, that's totally me, and it's like,、mm, that's the trick. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs>、uh, so, I feel. This is I feel or I think, right? Uh huh. Test. 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 This is like the calculation or the result, right? The result, because test we know already is test, and test is out. So something in the test would be your answers, and you know your test results. Uh huh. But if you think of the test as a little box, and you put your answers in the box, and true means out, and the box would give you some answers, and that would be 测出的结果 So the results of the test, 测出的结果结果 is result, and the results are generated from the tests. It's what this is saying. 测出的结果准确无误。准确无误 ，right? Yeah. This is another set phrase, and this is、uh, to be pretty accurate, right? Yeah, I feel like 准确 is accurate. 无误 is no mistake. So 准确无误 precisely would. I don't think I should call it a set phrase, but definitely they are paired up quite often.、Hmm. So 准确准 is. Accurate, 准确 together, very right. And 无 have no 误失误 or 误差 mistake. 准确无误 Like I said, Chinese people like four character words. When we put four characters together, we feel like we're sophisticated and making a lot of sense, being very persuasive. So,、uh, even though you feel like 准确 accurate and 无误 with no mistakes are Basically the same thing, yet you put them together and make things sound more correct. So, 准确无误对我的描述对 in this context does it mean like right? Um, towards towards.、Mm-hmm. Okay. So two or towards, and it's just like what we know is I. Right. So it's basically about me. Towards me. Towards me. Or to to me. me. Of me. Okay. I think translating it as "of me" would be more natural in English, but we know "due" is about the direction. Okay.、Mm-hmm. So "due" or the so my 描述描述 So this is description. Description, yes. 描述 would be description. And then 简直简直简直 This is literally literally. And then 呃丝毫不差 And this is the meaning of like very like accurate or very accurate. Here, often 丝毫 is used to describe something very detailed, a tiny little detail,、hmm. and、uh, or like as thin as a hair or a split of a hair. Wow,、so、really, really detailed. And 差 is 差别 is a difference. So there is no difference even. By hair, or let's say, not era by a hairs. A hairs width or breadth or yeah. Yeah, very detailed. There is not even a slight difference here, so it means really, really accurate. 丝毫不差，丝毫不差 ，be just right, really, really right. Yeah, that's a really close approximate.、I'm、not <laughs>、yes. sure if I've encountered any exams that were that accurate. It's a little bit exaggerating, little but bit. you know, you you can use the expression. All right. Uh huh. 我反而觉得这种心理测验并不能说明实际情况 Hmm. So this is 
I, on the contrary, believe this kind of psychological test cannot explain the real situation. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, 我 means I. 反而 means on the other hand,、mm, saying that I'm not agreeing with you completely, or I don't really agree with you, but I do not want to say it directly, so I use the word 反而 Okay. Uh, 觉得 feel or、mm-hmm. think, 之中 and this means this this, this kind this of this kind, right? 心理测验心理测验 That's psychological test. Yes. 并不能 Mm-hmm. Can't, can't really. Can't at all. Yeah, or... can't at all. Can't really. And then sure means. Sure means. And、um, I think that's because、uh, sure means to like talk or say, right? And mean means like bright, so it maybe explain. Clear. Yes, sure means. 并不能说明 would mean it can't really show.、Someone. It can't really enlighten it. It can't really show the results or suggest the results. Okay. 实际情况，实际情况。So, 实际 means like actual or real. Real. And then 情况 situation, right? 实际情况 real situation. Actually, 实际情况 these two words are paired up quite often. 实际情况 real situation. You use it in a lot of, let's say, context. You would、okay. say you have to tell me the real situation. 必须告诉我当时的实际情况 Tell me the real situation then. 嗯、mm. 哼、mm-hmm, ，实际情况。可能只是歪打正着，瞎猫碰上死耗子罢了。This is it might just hit the jackpot. And this is this the translation here, okay? <laughs> it might just hit the jackpot by chance as a blind cat stumbled across a dead mouse. <laughs> I totally understand. Not sure I understand your... <laughs> that in English, but、um, hopefully we can explain this a little bit more. Okay, so. Uh, to start with, 可能可能 is、uh, probably or probably, might, right? 只是 and then 只是 isn't that this? 只是 is just. just. 这是 is this? Right, right, so right. So it's just. And here we have 歪打正着 and 瞎猫碰上死耗子 meaning the same thing. Again, when we want to make a point, we like to reiterate our points by saying the same meaning with different words twice. Mm. And here, 歪打正着 We know why is not straight, and、uh, 打 is to hit. 正 is straight,、mm-hmm. and 着 is actually hitting the target. So it's saying that when you are throwing your, let's say, dart, you are not aiming it right. You are doing it in a wrong way. Why in a wrong way?、Mm. Yet you hit. The target by, by chance,、accident. by accident. So why that jung jiao would mean that you're doing things in a wrong way and you, you got, got you got lucky, you got the right result. Lucky, it's not because of what you did is right. So why that jung jiao? And here, why that jung jiao? Of course, is a Chinese idiom. You can remember it as hitting it in the not straight way, yet getting the straight result. So why is not straight? 正 is straight. Why 打正着 And 瞎猫碰上死耗子 This is the one that you didn't quite understand. Right. Okay. So the context or the background information here is that a good cat would be able to catch a rat. And、uh, if it's a blind cat, then you lose the ability to catch the rat. Why? I mean, you could probably hear really good. Don't make me start. <laughs> <laughs> and、uh, a How can a blind cat get a rat? A blind cat can get a rat by accident. Perhaps the rat is already dead. So 瞎猫 is the blind cat. 死耗子 is the dead rat. So when a blind cat stumble on a dead rat. You cannot really say the cat is really skillful in catching a rat. The cat is just got lucky. Well, yes, I think it's hard to be a blind cat. But if you can find anything, I give hats off to that cat. <laughs> Still, like I said, 歪打正着 and 瞎猫碰上死耗子 basically mean the same thing. It's saying even though you got the result right, it cannot justify your means. You're still doing it wrong. 
if you want to humiliate someone who has just got a really good result, you can say, you know, 你就是瞎猫碰上死耗子 You're just a blind cat and just got lucky. You're not really skillful. <laughs> and I would say you are a hater. How do you say <laughs> hater in Chinese? We do not have haters in Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> you should. That's such a hater remark. It's like. Yep, you got something good, and I want to just rain on your parade. Yeah, but still, I think it's a funny saying. You, now you don't really have to use it in your daily life, but being able to understand it is fun. 瞎猫碰上死耗子。瞎猫碰上死耗子。Yes. All right. So let's try the conversation, shall we? All right. 你有没有做过心理测验？当然有啊。比如曾经分析医师的人格测验，我觉得此处的结果准确无误，对我的描述简直丝毫不差。我反而觉得这种心理测验并不能说明实际情况，可能只是歪打正着，瞎猫碰上死耗子罢了。You're listening to Takeaway Chinese with myself, Niu Hongling, and Tony. We would love to hear from you. Send us your thoughts via email to learnchinese at cri dot com dot cn. Coming up next, let's talk about all these accurate or crazy tests online. Don't go away, so you will take some Chinese away. Welcome back to Takeaway Chinese. I'm Niu Honglin with Tony here in the studio. So Tony, I have to ask you because there are so many different kinds of tests out there, and、mm. there's this one that's really, really popular. That is the MBTI test. Have、mm. you heard of it? MBTI. I can't say that. It sounds like some type of personality test, but、uh, I'm it is.、Sure. It's a kind of personality test, and、uh, it has something to do with whether or not you're an introvert or extrovert.、Mm. Do you think more or feel more? Do you judge more or perceive more? What kind of personality you are, especially in a workplace? And it has been very popular recently here in China. People want to take the test to find out what kind of personality they are. And there are sixteen kind, if I'm not wrong. Oh,、uh, sixteen! I think I've done this one. Oh, really? What、yeah. kind are you? Uh, I know architect is somewhere in there, but、um, yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure. This this personality test gives you a certain like job that you would be good would at. Be ideal. Oh, for yeah,、you. yeah, yeah. And for some reason, I'm an architect. Yeah, I can I, see that. You、uh, like painting. You. Are miraculous when it comes to details.、Mm. You have imagination, and you can also, you know, you have your way to make them come true. I can see that architect.、Mm, yeah, I don't get, you know, but I don't, you know, I don't get too worked up over it. <laughs> yeah, that was one of the、uh, exams that I took, but it's kind of cool. It is nice to kind of hear and read some of the analysis that comes back for your particular personality. I think everyone is interested in themselves. So this is、um, yeah a pretty cool entertaining. It's entertaining.、Element. Yeah, I have to say, and、uh, people joke about this test, saying that previously we only have to think about our telescope,、hmm. our blood type, and、Astronomy. also our <laughs> yes, and also our. Chinese zodiac.、Hmm. When we go to a blind date, now we also have to think about our MBTI type to see whether or not we are good fit when it comes to blind dates. So I think it's funny. Yeah, as you said for blind dates. I think that that's quite interesting too. I haven't heard it used in this context. Normally, I hear it or used in a in a work environment, right? If you're someone who's really introverted. But you you ever have a very supportive type personality, then you're the type of person that could probably handle a lot of work being、oh, dumped、yeah. on you. <laughs> so you have these individuals, and then you have the person that's really outgoing and outspoken, and but very judgmental, and this, this, and that. Oh, that's leadership. And so sometimes they assign certain colors to certain characters, and so the red colors are people who are leaders, and the people、oh, yeah, who are yeah, yellow yeah. or green or whatever. You know, so they assign people these labels, and that that's where the company figures. Okay, is best to put you in this area. I think you're talking about another kind of test.、Uh, we call it 性格色彩测验 
Singer means personality, right? Uh huh. 色彩 is color.、Mm. 测验 is test.、Okay. So, 性格色彩 yes, they would test out. For example, if you're red, you're really good with people. You're a people's person. You understand people. You're sensitive, and a little bit emotional. And if you're, for example, yellow, as I remembered, yellow would be those who are very creative. Blue would be those who are really good at carrying out plans. So、mm. yeah, there are so many different kinds、yeah, of tests. There's lots and lots. And like, earlier, you mentioned how there are tests for what are the Xinli Ciyan,、uh -huh, psychological ones, for how much stress you're under at the moment. Ah,、uh, Yali Ciyan. Yeah, where your mind goes、mm -hmm. when certain things happen, and so they can see. Okay, this person's number is quite high. They need to see a therapist. Yeah, that is actually useful in the psychological, even healthcare, mental health related sure, area. Sure, especially these days. But I have always had this question that I ponder on so much, and I want to ask you. You are kind of a professional. I want to know what if I made up some answers. What if I'm not answering the questions based on my real feelings or what I'm really thinking about? So, for example, I'm someone who's taking the test, and the test wanted to know whether or not I'm in a good, you know, state when it comes to mental health.、Mm -hmm. And I answer the questions in the way that I feel like you want me to. So, if I hear the question or see the question. Do you feel like you do not want to do anything all the time? Actually, I do feel that, but、mm -hmm. in order to hide my true color, I would say not at all.、Mm. And in that case, you would not be able to get the right answers, right? It would be harder when you have someone with deceptive intentions、yeah. to take the exam. But what I find it, where it's harder to do that is when the test is longer. And if you're asking, say, a hundred plus questions, <laughs> that's a lot. And you answer one question a certain way. For example, if someone with authority asks you to do something, and you're very compliant on this answer, but then that same question comes back later in a different form, and you mark it a different way, and that's the inconsistency sets off a red、ah. flag in the system. And so this is kind of a good way to assess if people are being deceptive、yeah. in these types of exams. So it's kind of cool how that works. But if it's just a you know a sixteen or a ten question, I don't really consider these real personality tests because it's too short. You can't really assess anybody based off of that. So depending on how long it is, they will find out whether you're lying or not.、Ah. That's interesting, and I know、yeah. it's a strange break here, but let's <laughs> learn the Chinese word lying. It's lying. a good opportunity to learn lying.、Sure. Lying in Chinese would be 撒谎 or 说谎说谎说谎 Okay, so 说 is say,、uh -huh, and 谎 is a lie. Okay, 撒谎 or 说谎说谎 And how、uh -huh. do you say a 说谎人 is a liar? Liar would be 骗子 Pianz, Pianz, liar.、Okay. But Pianz is more like a professional liar, you know, lying to、oh, you、like、for your money. Okay, <laughs> no, <laughs>、um, like a con man or something. But lying, just 撒谎 is just like saying a lie, just one lie, 说谎 But yeah, I feel like I always feel like I can, you know, lie in those tests and trick the professional. But it turns out maybe I can't. If it's a, you probably could, and I think there are still some people who slide through the cracks. But another revelation. For that would be just them getting into a job that they're not qualified to be in. Right. Then they'll find out one way or another. So it's、um, either way. It's yeah. I would prefer to just fail the entrance exam and move on to something that's more suitable. Yeah. And also another question I have is that I think recently or in the recent couple of years, more and more of these tests emerge in a work environment,、mm -hmm. in a hospital. And when you want to find a new job, when you oh, I think I heard from a friend. Even when you want to have a new baby,、mm. you are required to take three or four tests during your pregnancy. To why then? It's too late. You're already pregnant, right? Yeah, but they can <laughs> intervene if something goes wrong. Really? I don't know. I mean, yeah, I feel like there are so many tests to take, and it's really time-consuming.、Mm. We say 耗时 time-consuming. 耗时耗时 So it it takes a lot of time in your life, and you're doing all these tests. 
Are they really necessary? Again, from a professional point of view. Uh, I'm not. Again, I'm not a professional <laughs> in that area. Okay, I'm not even going to wear that hat. But I think not necessarily testing, but training on. I mean, if this person's considering having a child, I think there's a lot of parents out there who shouldn't be parents because、mm-hmm. they just don't know what they're doing. They didn't. Maybe they're not mature enough to be a parent. Maybe they didn't want to have the child in the first place. So it might be good to have some type of training、uh, with the. Prospective parents and learn what it is to be a parent, and if they're ready for it, that would be more、uh, useful useful than taking a test. But maybe what the doctors and professionals are thinking is that taking a test is the first step. If the test result. Rise of red flag. They might intervene. I don't really know. But yeah, I don't know either. But yeah, if the if the if, the, if, the, if someone's pregnant already, I think it's a bit too late for tests. <laughs> <laughs> but still, having all these kind of tests at least can be really entertaining. Knowing that you are a white long fur cat living in Mars, making a lot of money, is something that would probably make you feel better for this long working day. Sure, I guess the process of going through that exam would be a wonderful time waster. <laughs> 测试 all kinds of tests. What do you think? If you like the psychological tests or personality tests or just any kind of random tests, let us know in the comment area. And that brings us to the end of today's takeaway Chinese. For more episodes of the show, you can visit our website at radio.cgtn.com and go to the column podcast. You can also listen to the show and read the script there. Find us wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts, including Apple, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, and much more. Just search for Takeaway Chinese.、And、don't forget to leave your comments, ratings, and questions. Thanks for listening. See you next time. Zai Jian. Bye.